So yeah, um, I'm Meinhard, I'm the founder of Satoshi Pay, and uh, as you can tell by the name of the company, we are working with payments. And uh, it's not just any payments, it's what we call nano payments, because uh, uh, this, okay, it looks okay. Um, it's nano payments, meaning uh, everything kind of uh, below a euro or even smaller, a few cents or below a cent. Uh, micro payments usually cover everything below 10 euros, and uh, yeah, for what we do, try to do, uh, it's not small enough. So, um, yeah, what am I going to talk about? First of all, the problem that we have currently with uh, blockchains, uh, and maybe some of, some of you also have. And uh, then I'm going to look into uh, two possible solutions to this, uh, Stellar, first of all, and then IOTA, uh, which uh, I both think are, are pretty uh, promising and uh, might be possible solutions. So, um, yeah, the, the, well, the first fact is like we have many transactions on the networks and the blocks get full, duh, like uh, pretty obvious. And uh, the result of this is that we have rising transaction fees on almost all blockchains. So this is uh, dollars here, so we go up to almost $5 for Bitcoin. And uh, I mean, none of them is really uh, feasible for what we are trying to do. We have even Litecoin here with uh, a couple of cents now, like, or even I think 20 cents per transaction. It is going down a bit, but uh, I don't think it's going anywhere near to where it was like at the beginning of, uh, or like middle of last year. So uh, there's a permanent issue there that needs to be solved, uh, especially you want to, if you want to do rapid, small transactions. Um, so yeah, we were for a while, uh, yeah, this is fine, uh, no problem, yeah, you know, it will be solved, there will be some solutions, some, you know, SegWit, whatever, some fork, uh, bigger blocks, uh, and we are worried about onboarding clients, publishers, and so on, improved our interface, and added, you know, just other business stuff. And then we kind of woke up like, oh shit, uh, this is actually not changing. And uh, some people are kind of telling us to fuck off if we you know, if we want to do a certain thing that uh, maybe uh, the system was uh, invented for in the first place. And so yeah, we had to act. And uh, what we did before was a partial solution. So we used payment channels and they are also related uh, um, like technologies like uh, Lightning Network and variations of that on different chains as well. Uh, which are basically trustless, trustless off-chain transactions um, that, uh, sorry, payments actually, that are then later on uh, settled as a transaction to the chain after a certain time interval. There are different uh, ways of doing this, two-way, uh, uh, like even yesterday I heard that there are now unlimited uh, ways to do it, like without a time period that you can just leave it open as long as you want in a trustless way. So that's a partial solution. Uh, the issues here are you still have open and closed fees and on some chains that can be very costly. And uh, you also lock the funds in most uh, most cases that, you know, like a user has to uh, commit more to this channel than they actually want to spend on your system or anywhere else. And so these funds are, can't, be, can't be used at that time. That's, a, that's the issue. Um, what we actually want is that we have free on-chain uh, transactions. Like free, like really, so we can do many, many of that. And uh, of course we hear that's impossible. You know, you can't do that. No, 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 like that's not how it works. Sorry. Uh, but then again, uh, they told us other things are impossible. So. Um, we, yeah, we, we looked further and um, uh, we kind of uh, concluded, which was pretty clear, that the block model is uh, not suitable for what we're trying to do. And um, that's uh, when we uh, began our search. Pretty recent, as I said, because we were too long in this burning house thinking it's fine. So pretty recent, uh, we start started uh, looking into Stellar. And um, they have, uh, as we heard before, I think today, um, blocks, uh, so no blocks, but the ledger with a uh, sort of magic consensus that's uh, achieved every few seconds. Um, so this means transactions are really uh, cons confirmed within four seconds usually, or around that time. And uh, they have a very, very small fee. This is like uh, a cent. So like This is like uh, you know a fraction of a cent as a fee for a transaction. That makes it, uh, at, at first glance, quite attractive for what we're trying to do. Um, so yeah. It also has a relatively mature ecosystem in uh, development, as I hear. I mean, uh, we didn't, I mean, we are now actually at this day, uh, we are in the process of uh, actually building a prototype and uh, to challenge this, right? If it's really like that. And also, I uh, would like to talk to um, Stella itself, and uh, we are starting these conversations. Um, yeah, but uh, in Stella, we have like a few transactions per minute. It's like uh, nothing really happening. Uh, there's no load. I don't know if there was any time ever when there was sort of a spam attack or like it was really under heavy load. Um, so we can't really judge if we want to do what we want uh, from the current load of the network. Uh, and also, like to put it mildly, it's not entirely trustless, right? So. <laughs> Um, you have to uh, um, establish trust, a network of trust, and a web of trust, and uh, that's maybe also not what we want in the long run. We don't know if this can make the network survive. Uh, also, we want uh, free, 
right? So we don't want to pay a fraction of a cent, we want it completely free, which is, uh, um, yeah, bringing us to the next one. Uh, maybe you've heard of this uh, nice project, IOTA, like, so the IOT uh, payment system, or like a transaction system as they claim themselves, to enable a machine-to-machine -machine economy, which is uh, in a vision quite nice, and uh, yeah, so we, we, we looked into it as well. Uh, the Tangle um, is something that's related to this. Um, they don't have blocks, uh, they have tangles. So, and then what the heck is a tangle? So this is a tangle, I hope you're all smart enough. So um, if you, um, uh, they, they put this everywhere, this image, uh, so that's a tangle. Uh, now it's much more clear, yes. Um, well, it's, it's this, it's a DAG, and if you're not a mathematician, you probably have never heard of these graphs. Um, it's, well, actually, it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, it's a, uh, it enables uh, things that we, <laughs> I worked on this uh, arc quite a long time to achieve this. Thank you. Um, so, but it allows you to give bold promises, uh, which are even for mathematicians that we uh, had had a, uh, they had a look at the white paper, um, and uh, we asked them, so can they actually achieve what they want? They'd say like there are certain attack vectors we don't know, um, like only time can show, and uh, yeah. So, but they have bold promises uh, like the uh, free transactions. So they actually the, the transactions don't cost any single fee. So you, you transact like uh, 1,100 IOTAs and the exact same amount will arrive and you can send it around 10 times. Uh, it will not uh, deduct any, any uh, currency fee anywhere. But, uh, and I'm gonna come to that next, uh, there is some sort of fee of course attached because otherwise it wouldn't work. Uh, and this makes it extremely scalable. So that's a claim that they also repeat a lot. Um, and uh, how they achieve this, uh, uh, we will uh, probably also uh, find out later. Um, so free is not really free. Uh, I tried it on my desktop and uh, it takes a couple of seconds and uh, on a slower desktop, uh, even like minutes sometimes, uh, to do the proof of work that you need to do on your transaction before you send. So it's kind of a hash cache thing. Uh, you, you take your transaction and two randomly selected other tr uh, transactions that you then do proof of work on and then you submit it to the network. So that's kind of a cool idea uh, because uh, at least you don't have to mess with uh, like disappearing uh, amounts and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, the, the sweet thing here is you, the proof of work that you do, you can outsource it. So um, the Auto Foundation even runs a server that has a couple of big G GPUs and you can just um, um, basically, in a trustless way, send your transaction there, they do the proof of work, and um, yeah, th then you can send it to the network or they can send it to the network. So this uh, leaves room also for, let's say, service companies that actually then introduce a fee again, but it's not a mandatory fee. So like, if you want, you can have it free. If you want to have a hosted version of your transaction confirmation mechanism, you can get that as well. So that might be even a, a future business model for some companies. Um, so. They claim to achieve scale through lots of pruning. So pruning is that you uh, discard information that you don't need anymore in a ledger, like uh, spend outputs and so on and so forth and other things, and they have to massively do that if they expect in the IoT, like the billions of transactions of, of billions of devices, they need to do that, otherwise the ledger is, is growing. So currently, like I think it was about a, a, a gigabyte that I have on my hard drive as the IOTA ledger, but this is from hardly any transactions. So this, this, uh, this pruning has to, take, uh, has to take place a lot. Um, so the ecosystem is uh, very early days, um, so we, we are directly in contact with the core developers of IOTA and uh, even some things are not documented and they are changing by the day and then they kind of reset their network and they, they introduce a new testnet network. So uh, and there are some JavaScript libraries that you can use and uh, they are actually quite well documented, so that's nice. Uh, they they uh, take great effort in documenting what they have so far. Uh, but uh, some basic features uh, like uh, like uh, payment channels can't really fully implement it at the moment, and also they don't allow to issue tokens yet, and also no con a smart contract system that. But they're planning to add all that. So uh, for I mean, it, it's an opportunity to be kind of involved early and, and shape this what could potentially be a, a quite a big ecosystem. And uh, they also have some things lined up uh, with big corporates that they're going to announce. Anyway, so I, I think it was super ex exciting. Also, these guys, or some of these guys are in Berlin, and uh, we can directly talk to them. Uh, yeah, it's a refreshing new angle on the whole thing, just kind of uh, even like to start out with this plan to have free transactions, I think is a great thing. And uh, so the conclusion here is, uh, and that is not a big surprise, as I said before, blockchains as in chains of blocks are not suitable for billions of transactions. So something else needs to be introduced. And a non-mining or non-proof-of-work consensus uh, together with some pruning uh, could be the way to go. And uh, 
And uh, but at the moment, this uh, model has not been proven on the on the real world load yet. And so that brings us uh, to the future. We don't know what the future looks like. Apparently, uh, to, according to Google, uh, image search, image search that's the future. So we will have like uh, mammoths again and uh, things that looks like like butts in the future. So. We don't know. Anyway, um, Satoshi Bay will keep you updated because we have a invest like a, a strong need in uh, actually finding this out ourselves. And uh, yeah, we will keep uh, doing blog posts about this and then kind of share it with the community as well. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.